Hello, and today I'm going to show you how to use Nat Geo Map Maper. So, first you can choose the base maps like gray, ocean, terrain, streets, and when you do streets, you can zoom in and see all the streets here. Um, if you wanted to do satellite, you could see how a satellite sees it or a topo. So, now we can add a layer like if we wanted to do water we could do the sea temperature in summer so now we have this red is hot and purple is cold so we can adjust the transparency if we don't want people to be so focused on it or we could just get rid of it if we don't want it so what if we were going to do something on the baffin bay we could make a polygon with this here. So you can use this to make a polygon like this and then click the first point to close the shape. Okay, so now we can finish and we can click this edit button and click this. And you could change the color, but gonna just make it that. So now I'm gonna, you can do the stroke width like that, and you could add a link. I searched up Baffin Bay and I found a picture. So now I'm gonna add this. You, know, you could just put a description there. I'm going to do Baffin Bay for this one. So then you could save this. And when you hover over it, it says Baffin Bay and it shows the picture. So you can also do this line. So it doesn't have to be a polygon. You could do that. And you could make a square. Or a circle. Or you could add a marker. There are tons of markers. So I like the water one because it's, because it's like the water. Because the Baffin Bay is water. So then you could also use the marker and you can make smaller ones or you could just show this one or something like that so um what you could also do is add a text and say something like just anything so then you could click the edit tool to edit it and try to click the text. Okay, so I could change the color to black so we can see it better. And now you also, I'm gonna save, you could also trash stuff and you can do country flags and stuff so you could now it has all borders so you could click on these things to learn more flat facts and quick facts about these places you could also use this to so first turn on line interval then you could choose the size of the lines like that so then you can turn on latitude and longitude and it will show you up here in the corner in, of the screen so now you can you can um, you can learn more about any of these and I think that's it